What's up my dudes, Valk here. Today, I'm going to be introducing to you guys the new hardest grind in the game, outside of Xeno, of course, but this is probably the hardest grind that you can get for like a craftable unit, the new Miracle Rare Shiro. Um, I'm going to go over his unit page real quick, then I'm going to show you guys what it takes to craft him, why I say he's probably the hardest grind in the game. Outside of, like I said, John. John's easily a, a much harder grind. Um, but he's really, really, really hard to actually grind. Takes a while. And he's really, really, really busted. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. And I'll show you guys why. Swordmaster category attack plus 130%. That's already broken in its own right. I don't think I need to. I could literally stop the video right here and you guys will get it. Uh, Swordmaster, hero, sacrifice, love, pressure, save the earth, godly energy, master technique, rage, awaken power. Uh, determined dreamer treasure hunter sibling youth and spiritual sensitivity yes he has it all he has like everything uh limit broken one i'm going to max limit break him because he's just that damn good uh, attack 115 109 91 i have some good stuff for him but the big main thing to pay attention to uh is the attack next we go into miracle creation click him and you guys can see exactly how hard he is to grind up he takes 35k Shadow Realm Orbs, 15 Dark Spirits, 8 Jewels, 5 Mystical Crystals, 15 Blood Tears, 10 Yellow Orbs, 15 Abyss Fragments, 10 Green Orbs, 10 TK Purple Orbs, 1k Spirit, 40k Crystals, 1.8 mil Gold, 3 Legend Shards, 3 Demonic Hearts, 3 Calamity Orbs, 3 Ancient Orbs, 2 Build Damage on Madness Warrior, 250 Build Damage on King of Knights, 60 Build Damage on Dark Flower, 5 billion damage on sword controller, 10 sword controller dupes, and then 60 billion damage on red archer. Oh, that was a whole lot of requirements. Yes, he is the hardest character to actively grind in the game. That's just, that's what it is. Straight up, that's how it is. It's going to take you a while if you don't have a stockpile of Evo mats like I did. He ran through them, actually. Um, if you don't have a stockpile of Evo mats, this is probably going to take you a minute. He, and I... I hate to tell you guys, but it's worth it. He is that good. Like, he is genuinely really, really, really insane. And now, keep in mind when you're watching, I'm not going to have a max limit broken. Um, I don't even think... Did I bring flower? I think I did. But I'm not going to have a max limit broken. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. But you guys will get the good idea of exactly how strong he is. And he can be much stronger because, once again, not, not max limit broken. Uh, I didn't expect a unit this good to come out. So, let's go ahead and turn on the effects so you guys can see his beautiful, glorious effects. We're going to go ahead and watch actives too while we're at it. He has a place limit of 3. You can see that right now. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then we're going to uh, look at the animations real quick and move him around. So, yeah. First off, we have this. The very first attack. Um, this one right here. Pretty cool. Pretty fast. Uh, just a little stab. I do have it on three times. Let me turn it down to one time just for the animations. Uh, if I sound a little funny, it's because I'm really tired. So just keep that in mind. So next, uh, Trace. Okay. You guys can see it's just raining arrows in here. Now, whenever you get to Nine Lives Blade, works a line. This is whenever you stop raise attack. So I highly recommend getting to this point, doing your raise attack, and then moving on. Because, um, yeah, now he gets all of this. And his animations are super sick. Uh, he's got really, really cool animations. I, I'm, we're gonna go over and show them all. But this is the, uh, this is the berserk. He gets plus 50% attack whenever he does this, so he's gonna have a really high attack stat, even without ra any raise attack. Then we have the sword, where he summons Excalibur. Right. Then he has a uh, knife as well. Tres un. All right. And then he's got uh, this one. If it lets me do it. There you go. The Roa Ayas. Yeah, he's got this where he holds out the flower. There's no real cutscene to it. So now we're going to disable the cutscenes and we're going to look at the actual animations. Uh, active. Let's go ahead and turn that down. Let's speed this up so I'm not waiting on this timer this whole time. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the animations. Let's go ahead and go knife first. And see what the animation is for the knife. Alright, a little stab and flash. Next up is the sword, which is Excalibur. So I imagine he's going to do something with Excalibur. Alright. Yeah, that, that one's pretty cool. 
All right, next one is the Berserker one. And yes, he plays the cinematic every single time. Uh, whenever you're swapping through the forms, he does play the cinematic every single time. So yeah. And you guys can see how cool the animation is. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick animations all in all. Pretty dope. There is one that I did miss that I want to actually cover before I get into it. Um, let's go here. And then this. No, no, no. I did it. No, yeah, no. I, I did it right. I did it right. So now we're going to go ahead and raise the attack. Raise it all the way up. We're just going to go here. Like I said, you just get this. What is this? Upgrade five, I think. Yeah, upgrade five you get. And yeah, he could be a good option, unironically, to pair with Adam. Simply for his raise attack at upgrade five. Could be good for Adam to copy. That way he can get some early attack on his early levels. And then you swap into Hashirama after or something like that. Next up is leader. We'll go ahead and put the leader out. And now we're just going to spawn in, I don't know, five mil. One, two, three. One, two, three. That way they have something to punch for a little while. So we're going to do this. And then we're just going to let them hit the 5 mil enemies over and over. That way they can get their raise attack up. So yeah, we're just going to keep spawning in 5 mils until they stop raising their attack. And then we'll be good to go. All in all, I've been using it pretty much all morning ever since I crafted them. Uh, this unit's broken. This unit's super, super, super strong. You guys already saw how the uh, ability skill works where it's basically like Gojo's. And it's really, 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 really good. Sorry if I was quiet there. I was leaning back. Uh, it's really, 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 really damn good. Like, super, super damn good. So, yeah. Here, we're just letting this rack up all the way until he stops raising his attack. Once he stops raising his attack, we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay, cool. So, now that he stopped raising their attack, uh, we can go ahead and get on to the next thing, which is going to be actually upgrading into this and then showing you guys what he can do at max attack stats. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. This is how this works. You don't really use justice too much. Um, if you're running a team that has a bunch of debuffs or you're running on a stage that has a bunch of debuffs, you can apply justice there and take advantage of that. Justice could potentially out damage critical, but critical is how you're going to do 90% of your damage. The rest, Berserk, is where you get resist plus the 50% attack. It's what you see right now in, def in default. Um, the way that works, that's just going to be for, like, super bosses and stuff like that. That's that's kind of what it's all going to be for. Where Sword, you're going to mostly just hit Sword on all of them. And then this is how you're going to do your damage output. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to spawn in, let's say, 200 mil. Said so not max limit broken. Keep that in mind whenever you're watching. That you still got a ways to go. Uh, you can see the amount of damage they're doing. They are hitting very, very, very hard, while also maintaining a very high crit rate. They are just doing a little bit, like a crazy amount of damage. Um, and yeah, they could they could go so much higher. You can see that 200 mil. They were able to kill it. Let's try 300. I think 300 mil they got. But I don't think my non-max limit broken ones are going to be able to handle 400 mil. Because that attack stat could be even higher. Um, yeah. You got it, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Surely they got it, right? Surely they can kill the 300 mil. Like I said, not max limit broken. So you can expect this number to go up heavily as you invest. One more. Oh, just barely got the 300 mil. Yeah, 300 mil is where the limit is for, like, the one max limit break on top of him. But he is just, he's an absolute powerhouse. And not to mention, thank God we finally have a good resist unit. I'm so happy. I know Sid exists, but Sid's not made for progressive, and he is. And that's, yeah, that's kind of my whole decision on it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to go get some much needed sleep. I was up all night testing, and now then I had to go and grind this one. Uh, yeah. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.